if Edison had not gone west for the eclipse in 1878, it is quite likely that he would not have invented the light bulb. The mid to late 19th century was a time when total solar eclipses were really important to science. Astronomers were just starting to unravel the mysteries of the sun. And there were certain studies that they could do of the sun only during a total solar eclipse. So Thomas Edison in July of 1878 was just 31 years old. He had just become a global celebrity due to his most recent invention, the phonograph. And in 1878, uh, right after that, with the press all over him, he decided to head out west for the eclipse to actually do a scientific experiment. These were such important studies that astronomers would put together these elaborate expeditions to head off to where they knew the moon's shadow was going to fall. Well, in 1878, the path of the total eclipse crossed America's wild west. And it was a really important event for the United States. You know, prior to 1878, America was not really considered a scientific nation. And there was a belief that a country run by the general public would never take science seriously, would not care about something as intellectual as science. The American public got very excited. They cheered on the, the American scientists as if they were their home team of athletes up against Europe in some grand competition. And in fact, Thomas Edison went west with his own eclipse correspondent. He came west with this device called the tesimeter, which was an extremely sensitive heat detector that he was going to use to study the mysterious aura that appeared around the sun during a total eclipse. And it all came down to three minutes of observation. So picture this young Thomas Edison sitting on the cow catcher in the front of the train. He put a cushion out there and he was just laying there on the very front of the locomotive as he watched the landscape go by. This was Edison's chance to show that he was not just an inventor, but that he was actually a scientist too. This device he had developed called the tesimeter, basically an infrared detector, did work. On the other hand, he had set the device too sensitively, and because the needle flew off the scale, he really couldn't say how much heat he had found. But when Edison was out in the West traveling with these scientists, he was talking to them about the challenges of science and technology, and they, in fact, were encouraging him to take up uh, electric lighting and power as his next project. And that's exactly what he did. As soon as he got back from Wyoming, in fact, the very next day, he started work on the light bulb. 